What's up, Mouth Pagers? Wow, welcome back. Or should you guys all say, welcome back, Rabbi Yak? Wow, it has been months. By popular to demand. Hold on, my... It's been a while since I did this. I have... It has just been one crazy last couple months with the new schedule, with all the fires, with just everything happening. It has just been crazy. But anyway, by popular... Back by popular demand. People have been calling me, asking where have I been. This, we need you more now than ever. Our country is hurting. We need some positive encouragement. So here I am. I am back. So it's going to be a tough go for a while, but I'm going to try my best to come back on the weekends and hopefully I can go back live five days a week. But here I am right now. We're going to make the best of it. Happy Saturday day. Shabbat Shalom. Happy November 2nd. Here we go. Well, I'm going to make this real quick because I just want to get everybody a little bit comfortable with my ranting and raving again. Get me going. But I am Rabbi Yak. Yes, we are an extreme motivational, spiritual motivational, Jewish synagogue Going for the people, by the people, for the people. Here we are, Mouth Page. I am Rabbi Yak, located in Santa Rosa, which is a suburb of San Francisco. Yes, Santa Rosa. We have been involved in all the fires. It has been crazy out here, but we are back. We're ready to go. We are power, more powerful than ever, but by popular demand. People have been calling me with everything going on with the, uh, the world and our country. They said we need you more now than ever, especially since God is starting to be like kicked out of schools and workplaces. It's just becoming like crazy. So without further ado, welcome. Let's just do a quick, let's do a quick Kol HaNeshemai, which is Psalm 156. Kol HaNeshemai, tell ya, hallelujah. Let all the breeze, praise God, hallelujah. Okay, I'm going to make this quick, but as those of you who know me and those of you who, who beg me to come back, here we are. So, we, we're, we're, we're falling off the path. And those of you who know me and have watched the show before know that I do not follow the rules of the road of the Jewish religion. I do it the way that we need to tell the truth. We've got to be truth. It is about the truth. Torah is the truth, right? So here we go. So I'm going to quote something very powerful right now. V for Vendetta. We need this more now than ever. He, if you've never seen the movie, I highly recommend it. The, at the very p beginning of this one part, he says, there is something terribly wrong with this country. So here's, here's what he says. While the truncheon may used in lieu of conversation, words will always retain their power. Words offer the means to a meaning, and for those who will listen, the Immunication of truth. And the truth is there is something terribly wrong with this country. Isn't there cruelty and injustice and tolerance and oppression? How did this happen? Who's to blame? Well, certainly there are more responsible than others. But the truth be told, if you're looking for the guilty, look in the mirror. This is a powerful statement because the society that we have created over the last 50 years, we don't want to hear, look in the mirror. We want to point the fingers at everybody. We want to find the problem and point it on someone else. But the problem is, look in the mirror. I listen to Holocaust survivors and I hear a lot of them talk about the hatred and the, the horrors that happened. And I finally heard somebody say something that I really, really, really appreciated. He's like, as much horror and devastation that my people have went through, he goes, it was our fault that this even happened in the first place. He goes, we believed the lies that our leaders told us. We followed our leaders thinking that they were going to lead us to salvation. They led us to executions. Think about that. Where are we going? How are we getting there? Are we getting there the right way? I, Like I said earlier, I am not like any other rabbi. We're not going to fluff it up no more. It's, it's time for crunch time. There's no more fluff time. We've got to say it like it is. There's something terribly wrong going on right now. We've got to fix it. Part of our problem 
And yes, it's our problem. We've caused this. We were allowing God out of our schools. Amen. Can I get an amen? I'm going to sound like a Christian pastor for a second. Can I get an amen? Can I get an amen? Because I need an amen. Why? Because we need God back in the school. We get God back in the schools, half of this problems would already be resolved. Put God back in the schools. Put God back in work. Could Put God back in your life. If you are afraid to say God out loud, you are part of the problem. There you go. Who's to blame? Let's look in the mirror. Let's start holding ourselves accountable. Because if we don't hold ourselves accountable, pointing the finger at other people are going to lead our butts back where we started. On the trains, wearing stars, wearing black coats. It's going to be chaos again. Let's shape up, America. Let's shape up, people. And let's get it going. It might be tough. You might not want to hear it, but it's the truth. The truth will set us free. The truth is what gets us alive. The truth is where we need to be. Amen. I told you this was going to be quick. I'll see you all tomorrow. I love you all. I know just out of nowhere, boom, but by popular demand, I am back. What's up, Mouth Pagers? I love you all. Don't forget, help others to be nice. God bless. Shabbat Shalom. I love you all. Where's my ending music? Where'd that go? That's what we want to hear. Okay, I guess no ending music. We'll fix that. We'll work on that. See ya. Love y'all.